There was an old man who wanted to cross the giant's territory. He was extremely careful not to wake the giants, as they were all man-eating monsters. But when it was about to succeed, a crow awakened the giant. The old man was captured, and the giant woke up one by one. It turned out that they were all giants, but because the old man was small, just over seven meters tall, he was often bullied by other giants. This time they still did not forgive him. They threw him like a rope, then put the old man on an old cart pushed from the top of the mountain, preparing to crash into the giant opposite. Seeing both sides fall, the giant laughed. When they were about to continue playing, it suddenly started to rain heavily. Because the giant was afraid of water, the old man also considered it an escape. An old man named Ryan, is the only giant in the tribe that does not eat humans, to make up for the mistakes that the tribe made on humans. Every day Ryan goes to the dream city to catch good dreams here, then sneaks into the city to give to the sleepers. Although Ryan may seem small in the race, to humans he is a giant. In order not to be detected, Ryan learned to disguise himself for hundreds of years. He hasn't been discovered yet, till today. In the orphanage a little girl named Sophie discovered him. The two looked at each other, afraid that Sophie would talk to the giant out. To avoid disaster, Ryan took her away. They crossed the mountains and crossed the sea, disappearing in the mist. When Sophie opened her eyes, she was transported to the kingdom of giants. Seeing Ryan sharpening his knife, she thought he was going to eat her. Sophie hurriedly jumped to the window to escape, but because her strength was too weak, she unfortunately bumped into the iron box next to her. At this point, Ryan went to tell Sophie not to run out, then put her in the pot and put the spoiled squash in front of her. Now Sophie realized that this was his food, that's why say only vegetarian is not tall. Ryan warns Sophie not to run away because there are nine cannibals out there. To prevent Sophie from running away again, Ryan put her on the roof of the boat. Seeing Sophie fast asleep, he quietly left, to his laboratory. Ryan intends to create a nightmare for her to know the dangers of running away. Not long after, Sophie woke up to find Ryan fast asleep. She quietly climbed out of the window. Unexpectedly, before running far, a giant hand appeared to prevent Sophie from running. There was a giant hand that jumped out of the ground on her way. Turns out this place really does have a cannibal giant. Sophie was scared and shouted for help, but Ryan ignored it. Then the giant lifted Sophie up and threw it straight into her mouth. Sophie suddenly woke up, it turned out that it was just a dream. Seeing Ryan standing next to him smiled evilly. Sophie knew him to prevent her from running away, then intentionally created that dream, then holding a bottle of blue water. Sophie was surprised to find that the gas inside was falling, but the water had a human gas. Are all upside down. Carbonated water will fly up, if you drink it, you will burp, what if you go down? Ryan immediately took a sip, his face showed an expression of enjoyment, and then the rocket bomb was about to be launched. Sophie was so scared, suddenly a voice appeared, turns out Richter heard the echo just now. Sophie hurried away. Richter asked Ryan to take care of the wound for him. He suddenly smelled a strange smell, so he was sure there were people here, then searched everywhere. Sophie rushed into the damaged pumpkin, and at this time Richter picked up the pumpkin and smelled the familiar smell inside. When he was about to eat, a piece of Sophie's leg was revealed, and Ryan saw it and stopped Richter, telling a giant to eat humans, not vegetarians. Richter heard this and threw the squash in his hand because he didn't want to be like Ryan, the vegetarian giant was their disgrace. Before leaving, Richter also brought a bottle of carbonated water. Sophie crawled out of the pumpkin. Seeing that her whole body was stained, Ryan took Sophie to the waterfall to bathe, then dry by the fireplace. After this, Sophie finally believes that Ryan is different from the giants out there. Then he took Sophie home, but she didn't want to stay in her hospital. Because when she lived with Ryan, she felt the joy of life. In the days that followed, every day Sophie would go with Ryan to catch a beautiful dream, then give it to humans when they were asleep. Suddenly one day Richter picked up Sophie's rug. Now they're sure there are people in Ryan's house. Then they burst into his house, and despite his objections, searched everywhere, finding dreams that had been hard to catch shattered. Ryan is deeply saddened. When Sophie looked for a place to hide, she happened to come to a small room. She discovered that this place used to be inhabited by a human boy, but was later eaten by a giant. No wonder Ryan just wanted to bring Sophie back to the human world. Seeing that the girl was about to be discovered, Ryan was extremely angry, he took a torch to attack the giant. Get out of here, get out. I curse you. Dwarfs withdraw from my house, you are a disgrace to the kingdom. Although this time escaped, the giant can return at any time. Ryan didn't know what to do either. 
Now Sophie thought she could ask the Queen of Humans for help. The two then planned to create a nightmare, putting the danger of giants in the dream. At night, they quietly sneaked into the palace, bringing nightmares to the sleeping queen. The queen suddenly awoke to find Sophie looking exactly the same as in her dreams. The queen immediately believed her words. Ryan also appeared in front of humans for the first time, even the captain of the guard was scared. Then he politely saluted the queen. She also invited Ryan to lunch together, discussing how to deal with the giant. This is the first time coming into contact with humans. Because the room was so small Ryan was forced to bend over. Although he was very careful, he still bumped into the queen's chandelier. Then the soldiers brought two ladders to bring the food up. There are a variety of dishes on the dining table. The first time Ryan ate human food, he was eager to compliment the food. The army dispatched by the queen had arrived, and Ryan pointed out the position of the giant kingdom to the general. To make the plan go smoothly, Ryan divided his drinks among everyone. When drinking this type of water, everyone finds it strange. Then something embarrassing happened. The queen orders the departure to the kingdom of giants. Then Ryan at the bottom led the human plane to follow. They passed through the mist to the legendary kingdom of giants. During the day is the time when the giants sleep. Ryan creates an extremely scary nightmare to awaken the regret in each giant's heart. After finishing everything, Ryan suddenly froze. Turns out he forgot the dream blower at the queen's palace. While he was at a standstill, Sophie disappeared again. The girl carried the dream into the midst of the giants. When he opened the dream, Richter woke up. In an emergency, she had to smash the glass vase. Nightmares suddenly entered the giants' bodies. After regaining consciousness, they all regretted their cannibalism. But Richter was not affected by the nightmare. When he was about to kill Sophie, Ryan rushed to stop her, telling her to run away. Angry Richter caught Ryan. He was about to teach him when the human helicopter came to the place to launch a hook to control Richter. Not long after, the other giants were also subdued. Thanks to the help of humanity. Giants were taken to a remote island, now they can no longer eat humans. Before leaving, humans left them a lot of bad pumpkins and a bucket of pumpkin-like cranes. From now on, the giants are forced to become vegetarians, gradually getting used to life here. Then, when Sophie moved in to live with the queen in the palace, and Ryan grows a lot of vegetables in the kingdom. Whenever Sophie asked him, she would look at the horizon in the distance, because at the other end there was a giant stuttering, small but gentle, warmest figure in the world. Remember the girl. This movie is called The Untold Story in the Land of Giants. Although a bit childish, the message of the film is also very clear. In this world there are many people who like to eat humans like giants. They rely on a great advantage to oppress the weak, but when they meet the stronger, they are still defeated. So from the moment we are born, we are destined to face many difficulties. When facing hordes of man-eating giants, it is possible to call for help from stronger people. The strength of one person is very limited, but the strength of a group of people is enough to defeat all enemies.